Welcome everyone, how you doing? Joe Warlock here with another unboxing. This time, Geek Fuel, and it's the December box. Wasn't expecting this one, but it's here. And it actually says on the front, to our number one geek, the Geek Fuel team. Which is a nice little touch. Uh, no real theme to Geek Fuel, it's just a load of nerdy, geeky stuff. And the cost, if I try to remember, $29.90 if you're in America, or £23 if you're in the UK. But let's not hesitate, let's just get into it. And I've forgotten a knife again! Right, here we go. Oh! No silver paper! I like the silver paper! <sighs> okay, let's see what we have in this box. Geek Fuel Magazine, we'll look at that at the end. The first item is... It's a blue, a blue t-shirt! Don't think I've ever had a blue t-shirt. And it is! Oh, lovely! Try and get a good view of that. Ed 209. Is it Urban Pacification Unit. Omni Consumer Products. Ed 209 from uh, Robocop 1987. Cyberpunk style sci fi film. Brilliant film. Go and watch it if you've never seen it. It's absolutely brilliant and better than most of the rubbish that comes out today. Ed 209. There was like three of these in the films and they just went around and went a bit mental and killed lots of people. Really cool. I used to have a toy of Ed 209 as well and I think I sold it, which was really dumb. I like that. Robocop fan. Blue. Very nice. Can't complain. Okay. One item down. Let's see what else we got. We have... Hmm. Oh. <laughs> there was a confusion. Hmm. Oh. It's... Last month we had an epic enamel and it was like a... Uh... Not Tomb Raider. Who's the bloke? Memory. Indiana Jones. And I wasn't mad on it. I'm not mad on like enamels and badges, but this... It's actually really nice. It's epic enamels, and it's R2-D2 style. Uh, the style of the box is from the original Kenner figures from like 1977 to about 84. Maybe they went a bit longer than that. Of which I had hundreds, and again, I sold all my Star Wars toys. Because I'm an idiot. But this is a really nice looking badge, actually, or a pin. That's really cool. I like that in sort of R2-D2 style. There's two versions. What they called? I didn't actually check that. G2F2 and the Imperial G2F5. We've got G2F2. That actually looks really good like that. Yeah. I think that's going to go up on the wall behind me. Kind of cool. Okay, moving on. We have a gift wrap. What, what? <sighs> this is what happens when you live in the UK and you get things late. Geek Fuel gift wrap. And we have Zelda. Uh. Ah. Oh, words. What's he called? Not Bomberman. Mega Man. How did I forget that? And Mario. That looks decent enough. I guess that's going to save me some money next year when I need lots of gift wrap. It's okay. Wasn't really expecting that, but it's something. Not bad. Not the best thing so far. Let's keep going. We have Wizardware. A nice box. You can see that, it's like a suitcase. Hold on, is this um a bit like the suitcase from... Oh, what's the film called? Fantastic Beast? Mythical Beast? I don't know, I don't really watch Harry Potter stuff. But one of them. So this is probably going to be some sort of Harry Potter, Mythical Beast kind of thing. Yeah, you can already tell it is. It's a scar. That's... How do we get into it? It's a sort of... It's a kind of nice colour actually, in a strange way. A bit potent smell to it though. Yellow and purple. This doesn't mean a lot to me. Um, are they the colours of something? I'm sure I've seen it on an advert or trailer or in one of the films or something. I am not a Harry Potter person. I don't know much about Harry Potter. I leave that to my girlfriend. She knows most of the stuff about it. So let me know in the comments what this has to do with Harry Potter. Uh, I don't think it's a licensed product. It's probably like a knockoff thing. So it's only worth about four quid or something. It's okay. I'll probably never wear it. Next item. Hmm. And the next item is... Caveman Craig. The Tribes of Bogdrop. Okay. It's obviously a Steam game. Uh, actually, I've seen this on Steam recently during their sale. Uh, normally about eight quid. So that's all right. I will actually pay that. Value $10. Yeah, so about eight pound. That's all right. 
They give away Steam games in every box. I'll probably have a player that, see what it's like. If it's any good, I might upload it. And one final item. I wonder why this weighed so much. And this would probably explain it. The world according to Iron Man. Packed with amazing special features. And there's the front of it. So what is this? Billionaire, philanthropist, superhero, science nerd. Marvel. $24.95. What? Hold on, let me just check how much this is on Amazon. £12 on Amazon. That's quite a lot. So we'll have a quick look in the world according to Iron Man book. Because it's packed with special features, or amazing features. So what is this? Forged from Iron. So it's like the story of Iron Man. Those are pictures, what's this? Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Anthony Edward Stark. Didn't know his name was Anthony, actually. Or Edward. But there you go. So it's kind of like... Uh, like a bit about Tony Stark, Iron Man, all the different things. They'll pull out things. The Avengers, December the 31st party. That's tonight. Blueprints. There's quite a lot in here. If you're a kid, you're probably really going to like this. Is that a pop-out thing or something? Did I just rip it? Oh, okay. There we go. So it sort of pops out like that. That's kind of nice. Yeah, if you're a kid, you're probably going to love this with all the little pull out bits. It's really detailed actually. Application for employment. Weird science. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't know what that is. Is it a poster? A little Iron Man poster. Yeah, that's not a bad little book if you're into Iron Man. Kinda cool. And the magazine, which I never really read, but let's have a quick look and see what we see in here. Uh, oh, you can get a discount on Deadpool if you don't already own it. Some stuff about Rogue One, if you haven't seen it yet, go and watch it, because it's amazing. Caveman Craig, that's the game. And then, loads of adverts for stuff you can buy. Which I'd never buy, because it's all too expensive. And then, in the back, all you lovely people. Which is kind of cool, I recognise some of them. And my girlfriend! So that's kind of cool. Well done, Sarah, for getting in there. Awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Alright, oh, what's that? Death Star Elevation Plan. Ah, it's like a cut through of the uh, Death Star. That's not bad. That's better than most of the magazines I've seen, to be honest. Kind of cool again. So that was December's Geek Fuel. Let's see all of the items we've got in that box. We have the standard Geek Fuel magazine. A Caveman Craig game worth uh, £8. Not bad. Epic Enamels in the style of the old uh, Kenner toys. That's really cool, actually. Probably about five quid, maybe a bit more. Not sure. Zelda, Mega Man and Mario gift wrap. Probably mm, four quid. Something like that. Probably not that expensive, but Geek Fuel exclusive. Kind of nice. Very useful next Christmas. World According to Iron Man book. 12 quid. Pretty good and a very different kind of book. I'm actually going to read that and see what it's like. Not my usual kind of thing, but kind of cool. The uh, scarf of me. <laughs> because I don't know Harry Potter. Uh, you can let me know in the comments. But I don't know. Four quid maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Four pound. Let's stick with four pound. And I think you'll find the very nice Ed 209 t-shirt. Massive fan of Robocop. T-shirts usually uh, about a tenner. So, using maths or something, uh, five, no, 42 pounds, about 40 pounds, maybe a bit more. So you've got your value and you've got your money's worth. That's not bad. That's a bit better than the last few boxes. Kind of won me over a bit more with that one. Not bad at all. But I want to know what you think, guys. So. What do you think of Geek Fuel? What do you think of all these items? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to grab yourself a Geek Fuel box, there are links and discount codes in the description. Don't know if I'm going to get any more Geek Fuel boxes, but that one wasn't bad, so who knows? We'll see in the future. If there's any boxes you want to see me unbox, let me know in the comments and I'll try and get hold of them for you. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? You might find something you like. But in the meantime, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.